Woo! Hello. So I had quite a few people asking about this bow and arrow stem lesson. I ran it today. It worked really, really well. To create your bow, you use four lollipop sticks. You want two with a hole at either end, and then you want another two with a hole and two wee nibs. Now you want to arrange it like this. You want to put your two lollipop sticks with the holes on, and then in the middle, you want to put your one with the wee nibs on. Once you've done that, you can attach them with paper clips and then get some loom bands to go between these two and then use dental floss to make your actual bow. There's been a lot of trial and error in arrows. I was using pencils, but it didn't work too well. But if you get a straw, put a wee bit of blue tack on the end and then if you cut two wee uh, etches into the end of this, it'll sit really nicely and snugly on your bow. So there you go, it's held in place. So what's the actual learning here, other than a lot of motor skills and a bit of STEMI stuff? Well, you could talk a lot about physics. Uh, so we could talk about tension and potential energy buildup. We could talk about velocity being a product of a sudden release of tension. We could also talk about gravity as well, bringing the arrow back down to the ground. So a fun wee way to get kids to shoot their arrows about the class was to put this up on my board. Uh, and every time they hit one of the words, they had to explain uh, the definition or, or what was going on with their bow and arrow and that force.